So now we need logs. For the logs, we're going to just use a cylinder. I did forget to tell you, if yours opens up and it makes you drag it, that means that you have this, create polygon primitives, interactive creation on. I don't like it. I like to just do it here and then do it here. But um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, so we have this, it's too fat and squat. And that's what she said, right? So let's keep going. Uh, height, let's make it five. The radius, I don't know, 0.5. Is that okay? Just rotate it real quick to see how it'll fit in the uh, fireplace. I think the radius is still a little bit big. 0.4, yeah. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to leave the subdivisions at 20 because seems okay and yeah and it's space kind of wanted to do something there I'm gonna go back here okay so that is our log and then the first thing to do with the log is gonna be to texture it and then we can see what it looks like and we'll just duplicate it just like the rocks and have multiple logs so, like we did with the rock, we're going to make sure that we're on object mode, click on it, go to edit UVs, delete UVs, edit UVs, UV texture editor, and now, what do we want to do? We want to make this part. So, that will leave the bottom and the top unhighlighted, but we'll highlight everything else. Uh, you hold down Alt and left click to do this or you can just use this little widget thing so yeah that is highlighted and we're gonna create UVs what should we use it is a cylinder so let's use a cylinder cylindrical um, like with planar mapping you have the options box you have the options box here not many options I don't really know when or why you would use these and hit project and that is horrible so let's see what the problem is there. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so hit Control Z, go object mode, click on this, and then let us set the rotation back, go face, and then let's highlight this, and that should fix it. Cylindrical mapping, there we go. So yeah, critical thing, never moved it beforehand. Don't move it until you uh, do the mapping because it does it does use this uh, this thing, the different faces, or the different directions that you can go. So now we have that. Right click on it, UV, highlight it all, and uh, hit W. You can move it. And so that's moved. Hit R, you can resize it. Make sure you grab yellow to keep aspect ratio. Remember, we're going to want to fit this inside of here. And we're going to need to fit two circles inside of there as well. So that'll fit. Don't leave it in there because when we create each uh, UV uh, map, it's going to appear in here and it's going to take up the whole thing. So you can click back in here, two faces. Um, let me see something. So I did that to select all these faces, and then I'm going to delete them, and I'm going to right click and hit edge, and that will select the edge. Minimize that, it'll go over here, mesh, fill hole, it's just so that there's not as many faces. Otherwise I have to click each one, I don't know why. A lot of times you can hold shift and click, and it'll click around, or you can do exactly like we just did there. but. I had been having trouble with the faces and it wasn't doing that, so anyways. Teach you a tool also. So there you go. Now it's just one face. Right click. Face. Click. Create UVs. Planar mapping, because it's a plane. Make sure that you're still projecting on the Y. Project. Open up this. We got a circle. Right click on the circle. UV. So see? it would have been on top of that and then if you hit UV you would have highlighted this as well like this and then if you moved it it wouldn't work very well so just highlight this W don't resize this yet just move it out and 
and then click back here now we gotta do this side face click create UVs planar mapping right click UV highlight it W and now let's see if we can do this easily So, just for some symmetry, try to get these somewhere where you think that they're close. Uh, there's also UV snapping and stuff. I'm just not going to do it because I don't feel like it. And hit R after you highlight both of them. Resize them to whatever. Hit W to move them. And then all we got to do is move them back into here. this and then move this back in and as long as it's all within the gray you're cool so now we need to go polygons UV snapshot browse because I never do it right and set it up and name it whatever you want new log UV save make sure everything's right okay um, so yeah I didn't actually select the object object mode click it and then hit save don't know why but it's what you gotta do go here go ahead and new log UV open it up I just like to be able to see it so control shift N to make a new layer move it underneath paint bucket fill it in and so now if you downloaded the package you'll have uh, bark texture and log end uh, it's just a log end I found online somewhere move the log end in it's gonna be pretty big and then just resize it hold shift grab here and that'll keep the aspect ratio so it's still not distorted hit enter to exit transform and then just kind of start lining it up and see where you like it you know how much of it you want to keep going make sure that all the white lines are surrounded or whatever and once you're happy with that uh, you can hit enter to exit transform mode you can hold alt and then click and then drag to copy it And then if you click on the outside, it'll enter transform mode. And then you can right click and you can flip like, I don't know, horizontal or something. And then you can hit enter and see that you're good. Um, if you think you might be inside the other one, you can just erase part of it. So now none of them are inside each other. This one's always going to be on top of this one because it's above it. And I erase the line there so now we need the bark texture go to your bark texture bring it in and it's gonna be giant you can hold alt scroll back with the mouse wheel and it will zoom out and now with the bark texture um, it seems like I want to go like this but I don't because if you think about it these lines are going up and the bark texture looks better with its own lines going up um, so I'm in transform mode right click rotate 90 degrees or something and then just fit it in um, not sure how you want to do it or how it's gonna look to be honest but I'm gonna just go like this make sure it's fitted hold alt I'm gonna drag it to just kinda double it up here and let's see click and then you can right click and then I'm gonna flip so that it does like that and um, yeah there is my log enter to exit that and so that's the texture for the log again nothing fancy make sure that we're actually in the line see so if I didn't get that 
there would be a black line. We don't want that. It would look stupid. Um, make sure you're clicked inside. Then you can hit the arrow keys to move over. And now we are definitely in the lines. If you look closely, you can see that the lines are on top of everything. Do not want that. So either drag it underneath or minimize it. And this might look stupid because of the clear, you know, pattern that comes about, but whatever. File, save for web. Save it. Just put texture afterwards. Now it's saved. Thank <laughs> you.